Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you what you can do with sleeping cannibals. And what you can do is kill them instantly with whatever you've got. They've got like one hit point, and I had no idea about this. The original idea of this video was to test what weapons can cause stealth kills, which is when they're active and looking around. And if you sneak up on them and they don't see you, you can actually kill them. Only with certain melee weapons, I still haven't figured that out. Because I didn't know sleeping cannibals could be taken down with one hit regardless of what weapon you're using. So in this I tested heads, skulls, tennis rackets, spears. Every weapon I seem to hit them with, killed them instantly. This is awesome news. And I found out a lot of other things while doing this. That if you kill them with a melee weapon, and there's another one standing right next to them, they'll generally wake up. And in this part here, I killed them with a fish. So there you go, they only do two damage, so it's a legitimate thing. But yeah, every time you use a melee weapon, the ones that are around it, they'll wake up. You can carry a chainsaw next to them while they're asleep and they won't wake up. As soon as you use it, they'll wake up. Now this is the interesting part, is that if you kill them with a slingshot, even at close range, the other one doesn't wake up, which means you can take them all down. So if you found a group of five cannibals all asleep, you could take them all out just by using a ranged weapon. Don't use a melee weapon because you'll wake the other ones up. So I'd stick to the slingshot because the ammo is the cheapest. But if you miss, then it's going to alert them. They're going to go to where that rock was. I don't know what happens if you miss with the bow and arrow, whether they'll wake up. I'm not sure if arrows make noise, but it is possible. In terms of using the flashlight, this is a little bit confusing because I got inconsistent results. The first few times I went up, they woke up when I had the flashlight on them. And the next few times, they didn't. In here, in this instance, they were pretty stupid. I was killing one and the other one didn't know where I was. But this is probably the benefit of having stealth armor. I had max stealth armor on normal mode. Keep in mind that if you're doing this on hard survival, you've only got a max stealth amount of 50%. They cap it at 50%. I'm not sure why. It kind of makes stealth redundant in hard survival. Now, I couldn't find any difference between crouching and sprint crouching. Sprint crouching is when you're crouching, you're moving and using run. You move a bit faster. I didn't find that I woke up any. Though in this bit, I accidentally stood up and ran for like two steps and they woke up. So running is very loud. It's going to bring their attention. In this part here, I shot one, and I realized that the bullet went through and killed the other one. He didn't even wake up. But if I shot the roof, and the stagler mites, or whatever the things are called, the pillar things that come down in caves, they started crumbling. I think that might have woken him up. He went in the direction of where the bullet landed, rather than where the bang came from, which was kind of odd. And I went up to him and stealth killed him with a plain axe. So maybe there should be a new term, sleep kill. I'm not sure. In this part here, I went up to them with a lighter in hand, and they didn't even wake. Hit one with a slingshot, the other guy didn't wake. So there's something about ranged weapons that don't make noise, unless it's a grunting from the player when he uses a melee weapon. But here's part of the inconsistent results I was talking about. After I shot the first one, the second one was still asleep. I shined a flashlight all over him, around the room, and he didn't react to it, so I don't know what's going on there. So I ended up firing a slingshot near the wall. And that got his attention. That's how you can actually avoid enemies is that you can create noise in another area. In terms of staying hidden, if you do kill one with a melee weapon, if you hide and the other one can't find you, they won't go back to sleep, so they'll just stay on alert looking for you. It's not like Skyrim where their mate can get decapitated and they say it must have been the wind. Even the cannibals are smarter than that. They stay alert the whole time until they find you. You can kill them and run away and hide. You might be able to sneak up on them, though eventually they're probably going to find you if you just sit there. In this one, I was crouching. I went and took a piss, but he eventually found me. AI is fairly smart, surprisingly. In terms of the repair hammer or the repair tool, that cannot be used for stealth kills. And also in this instance, as you notice, I pushed them around. They've got this barrier. Even if you move right up into it and push them and touch them and everything, they won't wake up. So you don't have to worry about getting too close. So you don't have to worry about getting close because you should be using the slingshot or bow to kill them. So yes, it appears that melee weapons create a noise as soon as you hit something, even enemies. In terms of the flare gun, I found that I hit the first one and it died rather quickly. The second one took quite a bit longer to die. So I'm assuming that there is some stealth damage behind that. That was hard to say. I do not recommend you use explosives on them. In this first instance, I was able to place it on the bodies on the ground, which were in caves. You're not going to have this luxury elsewhere. But when you place an explosive on something like a tree or an object or bodies or Amy Schumer, the cannibals don't detect it and won't run away. This is why I often like to get cannibals to run around a tree and then I drop the dynamite on the tree, like I'll place it on it rather than drop it on the ground or throw it at the ground because they'll just run away if you do that. In these instances, I use a bomb and a dynamite throw on it and they wake up and able to pretty much clear it before the bomb even goes off. Sticky bombs are a little bit more useful, though you should just avoid using them. It seems smart, but I don't know why they wake up, especially with a bomb. 
should make no noise. You should be able to just gently put it on the ground next to them. And throwing spears also works well. I doubt that an incendiary spear will work well because it will probably make a loud noise when it hits. This was also interesting. If you're using a tape player, the enemies don't seem to be drawn to the noise. It's only when you put it down on an object, attach it to something, that it wakes them up and gets their attention and they'll start heading over towards that area. So running around with a tape player seems like it's fairly safe. I stood here for a while watching them listen to their music, then I got bored and I decided to shoot them. And as you can see, you can't get stealth kills with the bows, only bladed weapons. But that's it. Often I get videos like this, I have a plan of what it's going to be and then it turns out to be something different. No, it's good to learn something. I've been making videos on this game for like two and a half years and I'm still learning shit from it. That's probably a good thing. And by the way, stealth armor is the only way to get stealth in the game. Rabbit fur boots don't give it anymore. If you wear lizard armor, it doesn't give any stealth, just armor. And also, if you're wearing stealth armor, don't catch on fire because it does burn off. Fire is bad for stealth armor. That's bad for you in general. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.